What's up, Valley Bible Church? Jesse Fury, your executive pastor here at the round table with the wonderful Joy Mason, our children's director. And we have some announcements about fall launch and adjustments to what's going on in the life of Valley Bible Church that we're excited to share with you here. So, uh, you know, the fall launch is happening. We're very excited about this. From the children's ministry this Sunday, which Joy's going to talk about, to our Connect Lunch and small group launch on the 12th, Leadership Collective and Kalos launching and eventually Equip, our Sunday morning uh, Sunday schools will be launched. We're really excited about this fall. We're excited about how many of you have come back to worship in person and really just the life uh, that's present on Sundays. One of the adjustments we wanted to share with you is our nine o'clock service, we have decided is going to continue to meet outdoors. Uh, part of the reason for that is, man, the weather is nice. Getting nice. We're, we're finally at the time where it's not too hot. It's, it's Goldilocks weather. It's just, it's just right. And so we're excited to be worshiping outside, continue that going. We've got some great volunteers that have stepped up and said, hey, we'd like to help make that nine o'clock service happen. So, uh, you know, you might have heard at church on Sunday that that was our last outdoor service. Ignore that. Listen to this. We're going to be outside nine o'clock at the roastery. Uh, and we'll do that for the foreseeable future as long as we can. Another change that's related to that is our children, our children's ministry is launching this Sunday. Uh, but as we as, the, as an elder team have spent some time praying, talking with uh, community health leaders, and really just kind of looking around at, at what's going on with COVID spikes in our region and uh, other really other sicknesses that are spiking in our in our schools and among young people in uh, the New River Valley, we've decided that we are going to require masks for all children three and up. Now, if you got the email parents uh, last week, you know that we were recommending it. Uh, you also know that we were requiring it for all volunteers, so that'll continue. Uh, but beginning with this Sunday and then going until, really we we've, we see some metrics that allow for us to relax that mask requirement. We're gonna require masks ages three and up. Uh, and so, and the, and the children's ministry is gonna continue to do a great job of providing a safe, clean and spread out space. And so Joy's going to talk a little bit more about uh, what we've got for you guys with our children's ministry launch this Sunday. We are so excited. This Sunday, we're going to be fully launching. This has been a long time coming and we are really, really excited to have all kids ages zero to fifth grade launched and in person together here at VBC. We have some amazing volunteers that are ready to lead and train and care for your children. Um, but I just wanted to give you a couple updates on what it's going to look like on Sunday because we want to spread out and we have a lot of children. Um, our check-in station is going to be right in the doors as you come in from the parking lot. We're going to check your kids in there. From there, you are going to go, if you are third through fifth, you're going to come down to the fellowship hall. First and second graders are going to be in the library, and then all other children are going to be upstairs, and we're going to spread them out through the four classrooms up there based on age and grade. Um, we are so excited to say that we don't have to do registration right now, so just come. We'll check you in. Uh, one of the most important things for check-in is that you make sure you keep your security tag. We want to keep our children safe and give children back to the right parents. So as you're walking down to the roastery or in your car, just make sure you keep your sticker that's going to match your child's sticker that we give you so that when you come back in, we can take that sticker and give you your children. Um, we would love to offer to parents that maybe are a little bit leery of leaving the space, leaving the building, um, that we'll text you guys. If you want a text halfway through service, hey, hey, how's my child doing? We're going to send you those text messages. We want you to feel comfortable and relaxed and able to worship down at the at the service. So if you would just tell us at check-in, hey, I'd love to get a text message halfway through about how my child is doing, we will gladly, gladly do that um, and give you an update on how your child is doing. We are so, so excited for this Sunday. We've been working hard and are ready to have your kids on Sunday. Great. Yes. Looking forward to it. A few things just to, to close this, uh, this, e this video out is um, thank you for being flexible. Thank you for, uh, you know, really flexibility is, is the name of the game right now with as you know, what's going on with the global pandemic that we're still in. And so we anticipate that week in and week out, we might need to make course corrections and adjustments. So please uh, keep reading those emails. We know you click on them and you read all the way through all the details. Keep doing it because we're going to be, you know, making sure that we update you uh, really probably on a week by week basis with what's going on in, in the church. Now, a few more things just to make sure that you know is Sunday morning, 
Parents, if you are dropping kids off, uh, there will be an elder and a member of the safety team here in the building at all times so that you can feel safe and secure knowing that the kids and the, and the children's ministry is being cared for and protected. Uh, and then also know that you can, um, you can just keep your kids and stay outside. So if you'd rather uh, continue to worship together as a family and be outside and let the kids run around, you're welcome to do that too. Uh, parents, please feel free to use our parking lot. Use uh, the lot that we, we bought the house across the street and you'll see cars parked there. Love to have you parked there. Drop your kids off and then walk down. What a great fall. What a great start we've already had. How, how exciting it's been on Sunday mornings to see so many of you guys coming back together. So much life, so, so joyful to come together and worship. And we are excited to see that continue into the fall. Look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday morning. And listen, we, we're so excited about how many of you were coming. We were thinking about starting a third service in the evening. You might have seen that or heard that somewhere. That might still happen, but for now, that's on pause. We think having the nine o'clock outside and, and, and having plenty of space for you guys to come out and fill up that, uh, that yard out there is going to allow for the maximum amount of people on Sunday morning as we can. Uh, we'll keep you updated about that as well. Look forward to worshiping with you guys on Sunday morning. That's it for us. Peace.